Eric with the Lemonex. We're here in Westfield, New Jersey. We cut a raccoon here. Here, climbing up this ivy or this wall and going into the into the vents up there. You can see the vent. Let you in. We got another another one. They climb the ivy. They need to clean this out. And here's he's sleeping. He's hanging out. He's hanging out. They sleep during the day. They're kind of hard to wake up. So at least they're not too aggressive. But when I pick these up in the afternoon, oh boy, they're snarling at me. So checking them in the morning is a really good time to come get them. And then we safely relocate them. I have a permission on uh, five private properties throughout central Jersey that I have permission to uh, release the wildlife. I, I do it. Uh, I alternate and each locations very far away from the trapping uh, location so they're not going to come back so I'm doing everything by fish and wildlife guidelines the state of New Jersey is really strict they do try to deter uh, us doing trapping and just do whatever it takes to get them out like uh, one way like install one way and there are some situations where uh, I can't figure out how they're getting on and off the property <laughs> It happens a few times, so we do install our one-way mechanism and then keep the traps going. Usually, when we when we exclude them, then they go into the traps because they, you know, they are they're hunting around for food, and they go in these containers. So they maybe they think they can seek shelter in these containers, and they get caught. So it was a strategy I devised. It took a few years to perfect it, but. This is pretty good. Oh, he's up. He's looking at me. All right, well, we're gonna take these guys away. They're almost a whole family. There's a there's a third one back in the back. That's our fourth trap. This trap over here also has a ca capture that we're gonna take away. Very good news. Customers definitely pleased. See, that's ripped. That's a new one. That wasn't open before. That's a new one.